Machines and softwares have become a major part of our daily life. With that, usability and accessibility hold much more importance than ever. This is where UI and UX come into play. UI design and UX design are the cornerstones of developing an accessible and user-friendly product for both web and mobile applications. But it goes beyond merely web and app development. UI and UX design are also needed for computers, home appliances and other electronic devices. So UI stands for user interface. UI designers choose the look of the application or website. UX is short for user experience. UX designers are in charge of defining how the user interface will function. Having a positive user experience is essential since an app or website will essentially reflect the business and foster connections between the consumer and the brand. A UI UX designer will always be in demand because the position calls for a great deal of creativity, knowledge and experience in interaction design, graphics, usability and web design. Since large companies and websites are continually looking for new, inventive ways to improve their user interfaces, there is a great need for UI UX designers. The majority of people seem to believe that the user interface is what makes a website or program successful. In the expanding field of UX and UI design, there are numerous job prospects. Keeping that in mind, we have curated a list of interview questions for anyone aspiring to be a UI UX designer, be it a beginner or an expert. But before we begin, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any updates from us. So let us begin by looking at UI UX design beginner interview questions. First, how do you define UX? UX design is something that your interviewer is already familiar with. They expect you to explain UX design in your own way. I wouldn't suggest answering this question with a textbook definition. You can use real life examples to begin with. Talk about how companies have started to focus more on customer experience which has resulted in a rise in the reach of the company with positive customer feedback. Although, whatever you say, remember to mention that UX design makes websites and applications easy to use and enhances customer experience. Let's move on to the second question. What is your design process? Here, the interviewer is interested in knowing how your thought process works. They analyze your approach and understand why you use that particular approach. Mentioning aspects like research which involves conducting user interviews, for instance, can be beneficial for you. As you go through your portfolio, explain the problems you were trying to address and your approach to solving them. Let's look at the third question. Describe a recent challenge you faced and how you overcame it. Approximately 80% of the interviewers ask candidates to tell them about a time when something went wrong. So you must be prepared to answer this question. The best way to answer this question is to demonstrate your ability to remain calm and logical in the face of a major challenge. Choose your examples carefully. You don't want to draw attention to a problem that occurred because you missed a deadline or made a design error. Impress the interviewer by talking about a problem that happened because of something outside your control rather than something you did wrong. Let's look at the fourth question. What is your favorite project and what made it interesting for you? Your favorite project may not be the best or most aesthetically pleasing or the best match for the needs of a potential employer. To impress the interviewer, choose a project that reflects the company's typical design aesthetic. Tell a story about your design and provide enough detail to convince the interviewer that you can handle difficult design challenges. Let's see the fifth question. How did you find your way into UI UX design? It goes without saying that you chose UX design because it excites you and inspires you. You must respond to this question honestly and enthusiastically. Your response should persuade the interviewer that you are a good UX designer who understands how to apply user experience design principles to every project. You can answer this question by focusing on characteristics that distinguish you as a UX designer, such as empathy. Make it clear to the interviewer that you excel at analyzing user needs and having empathy for people who use your designs. Next, problem solving abilities. UX design is about more than just design. It is also about assisting users in overcoming their greatest challenges. Your response should demonstrate that you have exceptional problem-solving abilities. 
And for the sixth question, we have what kind of research methods do you use when starting a project? Don't try to impress the interviewer by mentioning complex research methods you've never used before. Be truthful about your current strategy. Tell the interviewer if you wish there was a better way to gather information. This demonstrates your critical thinking skills and commitment to continuous improvement. The key point is to let them know that you are aware of the research process. Tell them about the methods you use and you would like to use. Let us look at the seventh question. What distinguishes the role of a UI developer from a UX developer? There are numerous parallels between the roles of a UI and UX developer. UI developers are primarily concerned with creating interactive and navigational elements that assist users in navigating the product, whereas UX developers are concerned with improving the quality of a user's interaction with the product. UI refers to screens, buttons, toggles, icons, and other visual elements that you interact with when using a website, app, or any electronic device. UX refers to your entire interaction with a product, including how you feel about it. While UI can influence UX, the two are distinct, as are the roles that the designers play. Let's take a look at the eighth question. How do UI developers and front-end developers differ from one another? A front-end developer is in charge of creating a client-side web interface. CSS, HTML, JavaScript, and other technologies are used to accomplish this. Front-end developers work on entire pages and create a website out of these pages. It is their responsibility to ensure the website and all of its components work properly. And for the ninth question, explain the layout of HTML. The HTML layout defines how a web page will be organized. HTML5 elements are used to define various parts of a web page. These include header. Defines the header for a section. Nav. This defines a container for navigation links. Section. This defines a section in a document. Article. This defines a self-contained independent article. Aside. This defines stuff that is aside from the content, for example, sidebar. Footer. This defines the footer of a document. And for the tenth question, what is the importance of semantic elements? Some of the reasons semantic elements are important are as follows. The use of semantic element improves the readability of the code. When semantic elements are used, developers, search engines, and assistive technologies can better understand the content and context of a website. Semantic elements improve code consistency. Now let us look at the intermediate interview questions. The first one, how do you reduce the load time of a page? You can shorten the page load time by doing the following. Image compression, getting rid of unnecessary images, reduce lookups, reduce the number of redirects, and caching. The second question, what are some of the biggest challenges you faced as a UX designer? This is one of the most frequently asked UX designer interview questions. Always use examples when answering this question. Use something from your portfolio to demonstrate the difficulties you have encountered as a UX designer. Discuss a project that requires you to work on something difficult and how it helped you to develop a new skill. They are curious about how you solve problems. They also want you to know how you deal with stress. Discuss how you handle this situation. Third question. How do you select the features for your product? Begin by explaining why it is so critical to set business goals based on the needs of buyers and other key stakeholders. Then discuss why it's critical to adjust to these goals as users need change. After you've given some context, explain how you go about analyzing your user needs and ensuring that your UX design decisions are in line with them. Then describe how you consider company's goals when making a design decision. Include an explanation of how you sample the target market, discover their goals, and solve their problems with your designs in your response. Fourth question, how do you learn from negative feedback? Negative feedback is unavoidable, especially in the professional world. So potential employers want to know that you can accept it gracefully and apply it to future projects. 
Inform the interviewer that you are welcome to constructive criticism and will use it to make better decisions. It is also a good idea to tell the interviewer that you would rather get negative feedback from internal stakeholders than from end users because UX design is all about creating great user experiences. This strengthens your knowledge of the UX design field. Fifth question, how would you enhance our product's UX? This is an excellent opportunity to demonstrate that you have thoroughly researched the company and considered how you can add value. This demonstrates a genuine interest in the role, which can only benefit you. Spend some time before your interview exploring their website and if they have one or their mobile app, identify one or two things that you believe could be improved and devise a strategy for doing so. If nothing stands out, discuss how you might run general usability tests to see how the current design is performing. Remember to consider their target users and mention these personas while sharing your ideas. And for the sixth question, tell me about a time when you disagreed with your team's recommendation. What did you do? The most effective solutions are data driven. That is something you must remember. Tell the interviewer that you enjoy making recommendations or business decisions based on data and proven results. You could discuss a time when you disagreed with your team's recommendation due to user research. Your research had revealed that customers were not enthusiastic about the team's recommendation. Remember that rather than subjective opinions, disagreements should be resolved using objective data. Let us look at 7th question. Give us an example of a design that resolved a business issue. You could respond to this question by referring to your portfolio and telling them about a design you worked on that solved a major business issue. You could also use a real life example of a brand that benefited from better design. Make sure to cover all aspects of the design and explain the problem thoroughly before explaining how it helped. And for the eighth question, what websites or apps are your favorites and why? Mention your preferred apps and websites. Explain why you like them, what features make them appealing to customers and do they inspire you? As an example, consider the following. Google. Google is a prime example of a well-designed functional UX. A single search field is a great customer-friendly feature. Netflix. A simple service that uses an algorithm to recommend content based on the user's viewing history. This aids in providing the user with a personalized and easily understandable interface. Duolingo. This app makes learning enjoyable. The entire interface is gamified giving users the impression that they are playing a game rather than learning. And for the ninth question, how do you assess a product's user experience? You can take advantage of this opportunity to describe your ideal project. Discuss the product in detail, paying special attention to the UX design. Tell them who your target audience will be and how you plan to personalize this experience for them. This will show the interviewer that you have a clarity on what you want and that you have clear vision on your goals. Now let us look at some of the advanced interview questions of UI UX design. Let us start with what fundamental differences exist between creating for desktop and creating for mobile. You can talk about the following differences. Screen size. There is a clear distinction between desktop and mobile screen sizes. This has an impact on the layout design. Desktop apps can have fixed navigation bars whereas mobile menus must rely on pull-out menus. Then, interaction. While desktop computers can fully utilize the cursor's interactivity, mobile apps do not. In mobile apps, users must use gestures such as swiping, shaking, or poking. Organizing content. In desktop apps, we can use the multi-column format, which provides far too many layout and positioning options. Scrolling is the only option for mobile apps. Desktops are preferred for longer, more involved tasks, whereas mobiles are preferred for shorter tasks. Second question, what are your go-to UX design tools? You can discuss the ones with whom you are most at ease. Here are a few examples. First, Figma. Figma improves collaboration and accessibility for UX designers. Then, Envision Studio. 
UX designers can use Envision Studio to quickly create functional prototypes and share them with the team. Then, Adobe XD. Adobe XD gives users a vector-based system for creating prototypes. Third question, what is your area of focus? Are you a UX designer, UX researcher or a visual designer? This is one of the easiest UX interview questions you'll encounter during your job search. You may be tempted to claim expertise in all these areas, but that is the incorrect answer. Concentrate on your greatest strength to ensure that your passion is clear. As an added bonus, discussing only one area of focus makes it easier to demonstrate that you researched and understood the company's needs. Fourth question, what distinguishes UX design from other design disciplines? You don't need to go into great detail, but make sure to explain how UX design prioritizes usability. Graphic design, on the other hand, is concerned with visual appeal. It's exactly what the interviewer is looking for. The interviewer expects you to understand the purpose of UX design and how it fits with other types of design in an organization. Fifth question, how do you identify your user's needs? Because UX design is focused on creating user-friendly experiences, you must first understand the needs of your target audience before making any design decision. Make sure you explain your approach to user research, usability testing, and user persona development, which are very important in order to satisfy your user's needs. Sixth question, how do you know your UX design is successful? Do you use any KPIs or analytical tools to measure success? You can discuss various UI UX design tools and KPIs that you've used previously when conducting a UX evaluation. The following are some analytical tools you could discuss. Crazy Egg. Crazy Egg is one of the most basic heat map tools. Then, Good Data. It is a cloud-based BI solution. It can combine multiple data sources to generate extremely useful reports. Then, Kissmetrics. It can be used to generate reports and funnels based on customer behavior. And some of the KPIs include task success rate, time on task, and user error rate. Let's move on to seventh question. What are some of the most significant trends in UX design, in your opinion? You can name a few popular trends that have impacted UX design in a positive way. The interviewer is asking this question to get an understanding of whether you keep up with the trends and if they impact your design as well. Some of the trends that have become very popular are personalization, designs led by AR and VR, visualized data and animation. Eighth question, looking into the future, what do you think will be the next big thing in UX design? Employers want to see more than just that you have the necessary skills for the job. They also want to see that you're enthusiastic about your work and that you're constantly working to improve your UX skills. Don't get too caught up in making the most accurate future prediction. This is more about demonstrating that you're aware of what's going on around you and the direction in which the industry is moving. This is an excellent time to discuss any books or UX design blogs you're currently reading. This shows that you're always learning and keeping your finger on the pulse. And the last question, do you have a product concept that you would develop in the future? You can take advantage of this opportunity to describe your ideal project. Discuss the product in detail, paying special attention to the UX design. Tell them who your target audience will be and how you plan to personalize the experience for them. This will show the interviewer that you have a clarity on what you want to achieve and that you have clear vision on your goals. And with that, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Just a quick info guys. If you want to make a career in UI UX design, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in UI UX design strategy. It is taught by IIT Guwahati professors and industry experts with more than 10 years of experience. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.